in the next problem it is given that the result of a particular exam is given below the result and percent of candidates passed with distinction 10% candidates passed without distinction 60% candidates failed 30% candidates it is known that a candidate fails if he obtains less than 40 marks out of 100 while he must obtain at least 75 marks in order to pass with distinction determine the mean and standard deviation of the distribution of marks assuming distribution to be normal let us rewrite some part of the problem result the description in marks probability passed with distinction passed with distinction now it is given that he must obtain at least 75 marks in order to pass with distinction that means marks or say x is greater than or equal to 75 at least 75 what is the probability then what is the percentage of students who passed with distinction it is given to be 10 so probability is 10 percent or say 0.1 The second category is passed without distinction. That means marks are more than 40 or rather 40 or more but less than 75. So 40 less than or equal to x less than 75 the probability or the percentage of students is 60 percent that means probability of this is 60 <coughs> and failed that means marks are less than 40 marks are less than 40 if the student obtain mark less than 40 then he fails in the examination and 30% students failed, that means probability is 0.3. We are actually interested, say, directly in these two cases. Because this is nothing, it is in between area. Let us draw the sketch diagram. Here, x is exactly equal to mean that we don't know but z should be 0 this 30 percent students fail or this 30 percent students scored score marks less than 40 sign is less than percentage is less than 50 or probability is less than 0.5 that means it should be on left hand side say here x should be 30 sorry 40 and these are the students who failed and probability of failing any student is 30 percent or 0.3 that means this side area is 0.3 it is less than 40 so we have to draw dotted line Now we know that the area of entire left hand side is 0.5 out of which this much area is 0.3 so the remaining area should be 0.2 bottom 30 percent who failed in the examination we will find z for this area 0.5 exactly between two values or any one is near 0.5 to 9, 9. 
0.5 Now let us take the nearest value. It uh, is 0 0.52. 0.52. Okay. Now the first, the students who passed with distinction, that means the students who scored marks 75 or more, they are top 10 percent. And top 10 percent can be here. X is 75 and this 10 percent students who secured marks more than 75. This is 0.1. Probability or area is 0.1. That means this remaining part must be 0.4. On the basis of that we can find value of Z and that will be the positive value. 0.4. The area nearest to 1.28. Okay. 1.28. The area nearest to 0.4 in the table and the relevant value of Z. That is actually reverse process. Now got this? So now we have two different values of x, say x1 and x2 and two relevant values of z, say z1 and z2. We know that z score equals to x minus mean divided by standard deviation. What is the first one? Minus 0.52 equals to 40 minus mu divided by small sigma. Just simplification, minus 0 0.52 sigma equals to 40 minus mu. Yes, therefore, mu minus 0 0.52 sigma equals to 40. Let us give it number 1, equation number 1. On the basis of the right hand side area, 1.28 equals to 75 minus mu divided by small sigma. Therefore, 1.28 small sigma equals to 75 minus mu. So, mu plus 1.28 sigma equals to 75. This can be our equation number 2. Now we just require to solve these two equations to find the value of mu as well as standard deviation. For that purpose, let us subtract equation number 1 from equation number 2. Mu plus 1.28 sigma equals to 75. Mu minus 0.52 sigma equals to 40. If we subtract this equation, this will take negative sign, this will take negative into negative now, positive sign and this will take negative sign. Positive mu and negative mu are cancelled. 1.28 plus 0.52. It comes to 1.8, is it? 1.8 sigma equals to 35. So, sigma equals to 19.44, okay, 19.44 and that is nothing, this is standard deviation. This is standard deviation. Now substitute this value in any of the two equations. So mu plus 1.28 into 19.44 that is 75. Therefore mu plus what is the multiplication of 1.28 and 19.44? 24.89. Can we take 89? Yes. Yes. Equals to 75. So mu is 
75 minus 24.89 so mu comes to 50.11 this is nothing but the mean of the data so the average marks of the students are approximately 50 and standard deviation is 19.44 because we always take marks in integer value so you can say that the mean is 50 marks.